Hello everyone, this is Sharon Creations by Gary. Hey, it's Gary. Hope you're all doing well. I have something super cute for you all today. That was crooked. <laughs> so these were, would be called a wallet pouch where you could put gift cards, candy bar, money, whatever you choose. I learned how to do this from the polish paper lady. Um, so I had taken those two rosettes that I had made yesterday and put them on these. So these are going to be gifts. So I have gifts in there. I made a boo-boo. I didn't score it in the right direction. So we have a hole. Did that on the first two. But this one, I fixed it. After I watched her video for a second time, and I was like, oh my goodness. You scored it in the wrong spot. <laughs> but then I made rosettes. More rosettes. And I scored it every three lines. So that's three eighths, I think it is. And these are really difficult to get closed into a circle. As you can see, they're not quite as circular. They were much harder to control, tamp down, and loose strings <laughs> and get into a circle. So I would suggest not going that small just because it's incredibly hard. It takes both hands and it took me probably six times before I actually got each one of those closed up and got them glued to where they didn't pop open. And it was hard to see how circular you got it. It was just, it was so difficult. So I would suggest not doing three A's. Uh, maybe something in between these two. To where they're not as, th not as thick as this, but not as thin as that one either too. Unless you don't mind fighting with it. It's up to you. <laughs> However, I don't think I will ever do them that small again, or at least that the um, score lines that short of a distance. I will definitely probably go more of, I think these were a half an inch, so I think, I don't know, three quarters of, I don't know. I don't know what makes. I would definitely go somewhere in between. But they're super cute. They're easy. You get two out of one 12 by 12 paper. Um, and you really, you don't need dyes. You don't need um, you don't need, need much fancy. Especially with these, you literally need something to cut the paper, like a um, like a Fiskars, a Gator type cutter, and glue, and a scoreboard. Unless you can manage to fold those papers without mangling them. Good luck, because I've never been able to. So it's minimal tools, and they come out super cute. So I've put gifts in these already. These are going to be back up in case emergency where I need to give out a couple of small gifts. You could probably fit a Hershey bar, Hershey Crunch, small candy bars that I like stocking stuffers. You throw a scratch tit or scratch ticket in it. Um, 
there's a lot of things that could fit in there because I believe it's a half an inch deep. So, yeah, it's a half an inch. So, these are super cute. I'm going to try to link her, the posh paper lady. I'm going to try to link her, her, this video in the description. I hope. <laughs> um, so that you don't have to go digging to find the specific video. You probably, you may want to subscribe because she does tons of stuff with paper crafts. I haven't, I've been subscribed to her for a while. I just seem to miss a lot of her videos just because I didn't hit the all. So I was missing out on a lot of them. But I didn't miss this one. And she uses a lot of Dollar Tree items also. So, um, feels like this one's a little off, and I think it's because of my dots. My dots feel like they're off. They are. <laughs> my Velcro dots. So, go check her channel out. Hopefully inspires you to have some fun. Even though I got a retinal migraine again and migraine now. I I had to finish it. I couldn't walk away because then it would have ended up in a pile of scraps. So hopefully you will try these out. Inspire you. Pretty sure she's got more things on her page that would be fun to make. And if you like what you see, hit those buttons. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.